a colossal ancient wonder discovered hiding under the Sahara shocks scientists worldwide. This prehistoric megalith defies everything the experts claim to know about the desert's mysterious origins. New revelations turn the textbook theories upside down, forcing a complete rewrite of Earth's history. But that's merely the first bombshell in a series of stunning Saharan secrets we'll uncover today. Lost technologies built by ancient civilizations so advanced, they mastered the physics of stars. This desert world conceals even more startling secrets beneath its sands, of lost jungles and great rivers where civilizations now forgotten once thrived. Ancient rock art depicting verdant landscapes haunts the barren cliffs. What terrifying catastrophe devastated these cultures as howling sandstorms buried the forests and lakes under an ever-growing sea of dunes? This desert hides wonders beyond imagination. But are you ready to have the curtain torn open on the Sahara's true ancient origins? A whirlwind odyssey into the unknown awaits. The sands are shifting. The wind calls your name. Let the earth-shattering revelations begin. Across the expansive sands of the Sahara Desert, a silent world of endless dunes extends for over 8.5 million square kilometers. This vast sea of sand engulfs much of North Africa, spreading its golden waves across parts of ten different countries. To comprehend the staggering size of this desert, you must know that it covers an area larger than the entire United States. From Egypt in the east to the Atlantic shores of Mauritania in the west, the Sahara dominates much of the landscape. Its sheer enormity is difficult to fathom. Even when viewed from space, the outline of this desert easily dwarves most countries. What lies concealed under these boundless sands and sun-scorched rocks? This ancient desert holds secrets from eras long forgotten. Beyond the iconic rolling dunes, the Sahara reveals a diversity of terrain. Contrary to popular belief, only 20% of the desert floor is blanketed by windswept sand. The majority of its sprawling landscape consists of barren, rocky plateaus, weathered by the elements over eons. Jagged mountains of stone jut skyward, while winds carve curious shapes into reddish buttes and mises. Parts of the Sahara resemble the surface of Mars with endless plains of gravel and boulders interspersed by lonely sand dunes marching toward distant horizons. An alien world, it seems, desiccated and devoid of life. Yet amid these harsh badlands, oases of green palm trees and azure pools appear like mirages, signaling that water still flows beneath the parched veneer. The Sahara Desert is one of the hottest, driest places on Earth. Relentless sunshine beats down with blinding intensity, often pushing temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius or 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Such extreme heat makes it difficult to survive more than a few hours under the open sun. Rainfall averages less than 75 millimeters per year across most of the desert, with some areas receiving no precipitation for years on end. The Sahara's climate is characterized by scorching daytime heat, followed by frigid nights when temperatures can plummet below freezing. Violent sandstorms frequently scour the landscape, reshaping the dunes. Only the hardiest plants and animals can endure such harsh conditions. Yet even here, life has found a way to cling on in isolated oases. Despite the inhospitable climate, the Sahara Desert is home to approximately 4,000 plant and animal species that have adapted to survive in this extreme environment. Small mammals like gerbils, gerbos, fennec foxes, and hyraxes take refuge underground during the sweltering days. Hearty desert plants like acacia trees, date palms, and cacti have evolved water storage systems in their trunks and stems. Herds of Dorcas gazelle, Barbary sheep, and other nimble antelopes traverse the rocky highlands, while Nubian ibexes scale steep cliff faces. Flocks of ostriches stride across the gravel plains. Venomous snakes and lizards hide in shaded crevices waiting to ambush prey at night. The diversity of life that persists here is a testament to the resilience of nature. These well-adapted species provide glimpses into the Sahara's past, 
when verdant savannas and lush wetlands once thrived in areas now smothered by sand seas. Beneath the Sahara's barren and burning landscape lies a world brimming with wonder. While visions of monotonous sand dunes may dominate perceptions of this desert, the Sahara holds many unexpected treasures. The Sahara Desert reveals startling geological formations crafted over eons. Jagged mountains tower above stone forests where winds have sculpted rock into eerie shapes. Through parts of the Sahara, one can find small fragments of glass called tektites, formed from meteorite impacts millions of years ago. Some areas contain vast fields of black volcanic rock and petrified wood, the desert also holds geological oddities, like the Rai Chat structure, an enormous and unexplained circular formation visible from space. Most hauntingly, certain dune fields produce otherworldly music. These singing sands generate squeaking and booming tones as wind blows over dunes, causing the sand grains to vibrate. The Sahara's strange symphonies serve as an alluring reminder that mysteries still abound in this ancient landscape. Defying its parched appearance, the Sahara Desert conceals substantial reserves of water. The legendary Nile River cuts through its eastern reaches, sustaining life along its banks with fertile silt deposits. Scattered across the desert are also several permanent spring-fed lakes, like Libya's Gaboon Oasis. Most significantly, a vast aquifer system lies hidden far below the surface. These enormous underground reservoirs feed oases that appear sporadically like jewels nestled within the sand seas. Wherever these subterranean rivers approach the surface, palms and pools emerge. Thus, groundwater is the lifeblood allowing isolated oases to thrive amid the encroaching dunes. For desert inhabitants, oases are vital sources of water in an otherwise dry and inhospitable land. The Sahara Desert is a land of optical illusions. Mirages frequently appear across the superheated sands, conjuring visions of distant lakes and swaying palm trees. These mirages result from temperature variations bending light rays to create inverted images along the horizon. One of the Sahara's most prominent visual mysteries is... The Rihat structure, an enormous bullseye formation visible from space. Known as the Eye of the Sahara, this deeply eroded dome of rock has intrigued scientists since first spotted by the Gemini astronauts in 1966. Though its origins remain uncertain, most geologists believe the eye formed from the erosion of ancient uplifted dome. The Rishat structure's massive dome structure spans 30 miles wide, its outer rings consist of jagged ridges of resistant quartzite rock, which eroded more slowly than the surrounding weaker limestones. The central ring contains crumbling sediments that have been extensively weathered. Strange dark bands radiating outward add to the formation's mystery. When it first came into view from orbiting spacecraft in the 1960s, the reshot structure's alien appearance and sheer scale stunned astronomers. They had never witnessed anything like it on Earth. Here, a massive bullseye lay hidden in plain sight in the middle of the Sahara. The Richat structure remains one of our planet's most recognizable and mind-bending landforms. Its origins continue to perplex experts. The lack of volcanic features indicates magma intrusion did not create this dome. Some theorize it could be an eroded asteroid impact site or an uplifted dome caused by shifting tectonic stresses deep underground. The indigenous Berber peoples called this landform Gwelb Air Rishat, describing its appearance as disks layered one on top of the other. Local legends hold that it marks the site of ancient cities consumed by the desert sands. Perhaps further research will someday unravel the full mysteries concealed beneath the eye of the Sahara's gaze. For now, its otherworldly presence serves as a reminder that the Earth still harbors geological enigmas to challenge our imagination. From sand that seems to sing to earthly eyes peering skyward, the Sahara is filled with sights that deceive the senses, luring travelers deeper into its beguiling void. While now a sea of sand and stone, the Sahara Desert reveals traces of a radically different past, hidden beneath its surface. 
The Sahara's origins reach back over 250 million years ago to the Mesozoic era, when the region was submerged beneath a prehistoric ocean called the Tethys Sea. This vanished ocean once separated the ancient supercontinent of Pangaea into northern and southern landmasses. When the continents collided again millions of years later, the Tethys Sea dried up, setting the stage for the Sahara Desert we know today. Yet remnants of this primordial ocean still persist in the Sahara, in the form of extensive fossil beds containing ancient corals, sponges, clams, and oysters. These marine fossils provide an eerie reminder that a vast seascape once covered the desert sands. One of the most astonishing windows into the Sahara's aquatic past is the Valley of the Whales in Egypt, this wind-scoured valley contains hundreds of well-preserved whale fossils dating back 37 million years to a time when the region was covered in mangrove swamps and shallow seas. Among the fossil graveyard are 45-foot-long ancient whales, as well as massive snakes, crocodiles, and sea turtles. Herds of four tusked elephants and early primate relatives once roamed the ancient riverbanks. This valley provides profound evidence that the Sahara was once a thriving coastal region teeming with long-extinct creatures. The remains of these early whales and other animals offer a portal into when rivers and seas still coursed through the heart of the desert. It's astonishing to imagine that the barren Sahara was once a region lush with life. But around 10,000 years ago, during the African humid period, Increased monsoon rains transformed the desert into thriving grasslands, woodlands, and savannas. This green Sahara phase supported a mosaic of diverse ecosystems. Dense forests blanketed mountain slopes, while acacia trees and shrubs dotted sweeping plains covered in tall white grasses. Herds of elephants, giraffes, antelopes, and ostriches grazed and roamed across the verdant landscape. Large permanent lakes and wetlands provided habitat for aquatic hippos, fish, and waterfowl. Ostrich eggshell fragments found in ancient campsites reveal that vibrant hunter-gatherer communities flourished during this period. Flowing rivers like the Nile were much wider, fed by substantially more rainfall. This allowed them to meander slowly across wide, shallow valleys, Shimmering streams and freshwater springs attracted wildlife from all around. The abundant groundwater led to a proliferation of oases with palms and pools nestled between grassy meadows. The lush vegetation and plentiful rainfall supported human settlements in areas now covered by endless dunes. Ancient rock paintings and carvings depict how Stone Age cultures hunted wildlife, fished rivers, and lived across the green Sahara but as the climate gradually dried around 5,000 years ago, the forests receded and lakes vanished, leaving only traces of life buried beneath the encroaching sands. What transformed the once verdant Sahara into the parched desert we know today? Scientists propose several theories. As human populations grew, overgrazing by cattle and agricultural practices may have denuded the landscape, triggering desertification. However, climate change was likely the primary driver. Subtle wobbles in Earth's orbit and tilt on its axis caused decreases in monsoon rainfall over North Africa around 5,500 years ago. With less annual precipitation, vegetation died off and soils eroded, accelerating desert conditions fed back into the climate system, strengthening the Sahara's arid phase. While human activity played a role... Evidence shows our planet's dynamics dictated the Sahara's transition into the giant desert that still awes us today. Its stark beauty conceals a landscape etched by sudden climatic shifts across geologic timescales. While now considered one of the most inhospitable environments on Earth, the Sahara Desert has been home to human communities for millennia. Beneath the Sahara's windswept sands lie traces of ancient settlements and cultures that once thrived where only endless dunes remain. What mysteries hide within this sea of desolation, whispering of civilization's past? From desert nomads to traders along lost caravan routes, the Sahara's harsh lands have been home to humankind 
since time immemorial, what relics of their presence here might still endure awaiting discovery. Despite the harsh climate, around two million people still inhabit the Sahara today. Scattered communities of nomads, herders, and traders eke out an existence across the desert interior. The indigenous Berber and Tuareg peoples have occupied the Sahara for thousands of years. Living in portable tents, these groups move seasonally to find scarce water and grazing grounds for their herds of goats, sheep, and camels. Others reside in small, isolated oasis settlements, growing dates and other drought-resistant crops. While a difficult existence, the hardy desert tribes have preserved their traditional cultures for generations. Their encampments and caravan routes are fleeting footprints in this ever-shifting landscape. Dotted across the Sahara are clues indicating this desert was once inhabited by early bands of humans. Ancient rock paintings depicting wild animals and human activities adorn cave walls and boulders. These vibrant works of art provide glimpses into Stone Age cultures that thrived during more hospitable climatic periods. Archaeologists have discovered remnants of Paleolithic stone tools, arrowheads, pottery shards, and ostrich eggshell jewelry scattered around desert oases. Such artifacts reveal how hunter-gatherer groups flourished near lakes and rivers in the Sahara over 12,000 years ago. The paintings and artifacts left by these communities stand as lasting marks upon the land, reminders that life once blossomed in the desert long before the sand swept in. The Sahara contains fragments of ancient societies that flourished in prehistoric times when the climate was wetter and greener. Archaeologists have uncovered traces of Paleolithic cultures that inhabited the region over 10,000 years ago during the African humid period. Stone tools, arrowheads, and grinding stones found around long-vanished lakes indicate these groups hunted wildlife, fished, and gathered plants across grassy savannas. Caves contain paintings left by pastoralists depicting large wild animals like elephants and giraffes, which populated the region before desertification. Remarkably well-preserved rock art in the tassili Anger Plateau of Algeria provides a window into these communities. Vivid murals portray early Saharan peoples fishing, dancing, herding cattle, and living in round hut villages when the area was still covered in lush vegetation. The archaeological site of Nabtaplea in southern Egypt contains ritually buried cows and extinct mega-lakes used by Neolithic groups to observe stars over 7,000 years ago. This hints at surprisingly advanced astronomical practices. Lost stone settlements, urban centers, and tombs scattered from Egypt to Mauritania likely hold more revelations about Saharan civilizations predating the pharaohs. Further exciting discoveries surely await beneath the sands to unearth more of humanity's presence in the Sahara's past. In medieval times, long corridors of caravans carrying valuable goods traversed the scorching Sahara. These trade routes brought prosperity to North African cities and kingdoms between the 7th and 17th centuries. Heavily laden camels journeyed for months across thousands of miles through the desert, transporting gold, salt, textiles, spices, and slaves. According to Arab scholars, the largest caravans consisted of as many as 12,000 camels. Guided by the stars at night and by the sun's passage overhead during the day, the caravans relied on oases spaced days apart to rest and refill precious water supplies. The trans-Saharan trade pioneered commercial links between sub-Saharan Africa, the Mediterranean, and the Middle East for centuries until maritime trade eclipsed overland routes. The daring medieval camel trains stand as precursors to today's desolate highways passing abandoned waypoints now buried in the drifting sands. Beneath the parched surface of the Sahara lies its lifeblood, the precious water that sustains both isolated desert outposts and modern cities across North Africa. Hidden beneath Libya's desert lies the Great Man-Made River, one of the largest groundwater extraction projects ever undertaken. This massive water supply system taps into vast aquifers trapped under the Sahara that filled naturally during the wetter climate of the past. 
A network of over 1,300 wells each, over 500 meters deep forms, the river stretching hundreds of miles to pipe 6.5 million cubic meters of water per day to Libya's coastal cities. Since construction began in the 1980s, the great man-made river has supplied clean drinking water across the country. This colossal feat of engineering demonstrates how ancient hydrology from eras when the Sahara was green underpins life today in the heart of the desert. Oases are gems scattered across the Sahara's endless seas of sand, offering sanctuary from the unrelenting sun. These isolated Edens appear as if by magic, with sparkling pools ringed by sun-bleached dunes, palms laden with sweet dates and grasses waving gently in the breezes. To a weary desert traveler, each oasis is a shimmering jewel, its vibrant greens and blues fading into mirages along the far horizon. The existence of oases is made possible by the Sahara's hidden waterways. Over countless millennia, rainfall gradually filtered deep underground, collecting in vast reservoirs beneath the desert known as aquifers. These aquifers are composed of porous sandstone, that acts as an immense natural filtration system. As this ancient water flows through subterranean rivers of rock, oases emerge where it nears the surface. The upwelling groundwater is forced upward at certain geological formations. Oases typically exist where aquifers intersect elevated areas or near faults, causing water pressure to increase. Natural dams of bedrock or clay block the water's path, forcing it to bubble up towards the surface. Gurgling springs emerge that sustain the oasis pools, palms, and grasses. Some oases rely on fossil water, rain that fell thousands of years ago during wetter periods and became trapped far underground. This primordial groundwater has quenched the thirst of humans and animals since prehistoric times. Other oases depend on seasonal rainfall that replenishes their aquifers. Through the millennia, the changing climate of North Africa has filled and drained the Sahara's hidden aquifers like a slow-beating heart. When viewed from above, oases often form in long chains, hinting at the meandering path of the underground rivers feeding them. To plants, animals, and humans, these desert springs are lifelines allowing life to persist in an otherwise barren landscape. Their presence reminds us that far more precious water still flows beneath the Sahara sands than meets the eye. These isolated jewels offer fleeting glimpses into the once lush terrain that covered the desert long ago. The Sahara conceals tremendously valuable reserves of groundwater, allowing settlements and agriculture to persist amid the encroaching desert. Ancient aquifers buried hundreds of meters deep contain enough water to sustain millions of people if tapped through wells and pipelines. In Egypt, the Mammoth Toshka Project pipes massive quantities of groundwater from Lake Nasser to irrigate thousands of acres of farmland in the western desert. Subsurface drip irrigation maximizes efficiency in the arid climate. Expanding agriculture reclaims desert lands to resettle increasing populations. Across the Sahara, wells equipped with diesel or solar pumps draw from unknown volumes of groundwater, filling elevated tanks that supply towns and villages otherwise surrounded by barren wastes. Nomads water camel herds at solitary wells, continuing traditions spanning millennia. The true bounty of the desert is revealed in how groundwater sustains life amid desolation. Yet aquifers recharged in wetter eras now see falling water tables, ceaseless pumping strains their ancient reserves. Still, the Sahara's hidden waters present hope of transforming endless sands into fields of green, energizing future growth where only dust storms now rage. While today an ocean of scorching sand and sun-beaten rock the Sahara Desert holds remnants of a lush, prehistoric past and conceals vast resources that sustain life across its expanse. Its windswept dunes veil treasures yet to be uncovered. Though now an arid land of endless dunes baked by an unrelenting sun, the Sahara Desert conceals a radically different past, filled with waters, forests, and thriving cultures. This ancient landscape has undergone striking transformations throughout its history, from a fertile grassland to a verdant rainforest, and even a primeval ocean millions of years ago. Though parched on the surface, 
Plentiful groundwater still flows in unseen rivers beneath the sands, hinting at wetter Saharan eras. The desert holds many more secrets yet to be revealed by shifting dunes and windswept vistas that whisper of eons past. Its harshly beautiful veneer belies a diverse natural heritage stretching back through deep time, awaiting discovery by those willing to search its endless expanse. The Sahara Desert is a land of illusion. Its vast oceans of sand conceal a dramatic history that has cycled between extremes of lush abundance and stark desolation. Ancient seabeds filled with whale fossils hint at prehistoric shallows teeming with life. Remnants of forests and human settlements reveal the Sahara was a green land of grassy plains and meandering rivers just thousands of years ago. Vast aquifers still hold enough groundwater to transform the desert once more should the climate shift. This sea of sand is only the latest iteration of a landscape transformed countless times by Earth's cycles. The Sahara's diverse natural heritage points to a world far different from the forbidding desert, now spanning the horizon in all directions. Its sands veil a long and dynamic past that has pivoted between deserts and seas, forests and savannas, all memorialized in stone and shell, buried beneath golden dunes, shifting relentlessly in the ageless wind.